and you go crazy. So tell us what it's like, you know, for you. So, so you grew up on the south side of Chicago. South side. Yep. Okay. Um, in this household, you know, yo, 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 your cousins, you know, t but tell us what it's like for you through your perspective. Well, shit, um, he used to really go outside with my, my older brother, his name Reese. They, he, he, four years older than us. He used to go outside with him, though. I used to, um, I was, I was, um, what grade was I in? Shit, I think I failed. So, I was, uh, two grades under him. So I used to, um, I used to be, we used to go to uh, Clara Barton on um, 76 and, well, 75th and uh, Wildcut. But um, I used to be at after school programs, all type of shit, like, but uh, he used to be into like uh, gymnastic. He was on the uh, Jesse White Tumbling team, all type of shit. So he, we used to do different shit, literally. Like, he used, and then, so when I started playing baseball, he started playing baseball. Like I put him on, on our team and shit like that. But I ended up getting hit by a car, so uh, I had I stopped because I had a knot on my head. They thought I had a tumor, all type of shit. So he continued to play. We got pictures and shit from that. Yeah. But uh, basically, like yeah, uh, you got hit by a car. Yeah, I got hit by a car. How that happen? We was playing. We was playing. Uh, we was practicing uh, for our uh, game like two days from the accident, the day the accident happened, and um. Uh, me and Vaughn was on the same team, and somebody hit the ball in the street. We was running. He chased. He telling me to run because I was big. So he like run. Fuck is you doing? Run. I wasn't even paying attention. We on 78th. I run across the street. I get hit by a motherfucking car. That motherfucker hit me. I tumble down the street, literally rolling on my motherfucking forehead. Literally, I had marks, all type of shit mm. on my forehead, face, and elbow, all type of shit, mm. scraped up. Mm. Running out, of, run, running out the ball, loose running ball. Out the ball. You said what? I said run out the loose ball. A loose ball, yeah. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Yeah. So when you growing up with this mad aggressive uh, cousin, was that ever a, like, did you ever feel like any type of influence to like match his aggressiveness? I mean, I, for some reason, I feel like everybody in our family was aggressive. Like, I don't think he was just a, he, he wasn't over aggressive. We all was aggressive, literally. We all like, I don't know. I don't know why we all like to fight or as a result to the outside voice instead of the inside voice, basically. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, I don't know. But, um, shit, no, he wasn't no influence on it. Okay. He, wa he wasn't, though. Yeah, literally. Okay. And the reason why I ask, right, is, be is because when we look at, you know, the type of persona, you know, King Von had versus the type of persona you have, you know, it's like complete opposite. Mm -hmm, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So what was it about yourself mentally that made you different and separated you from the rest? The rest of my cousins? I mean, you know, just the rest. In general. Yeah, in, in general. general, yeah. Shit, I don't know if it has something to do with my mama moving me and my brother to Minnesota. Okay. She moved us to Minnesota. We stayed in Minnesota for maybe three years. Okay. Then we came back, but before we moved to Minnesota, we stayed on 78th. That's what Vaughn was at. He was going to uh, Barton, Claire Barton. That's when we was, uh, what the fuck was that? When we came back, that's when him and his, his mama moved. At the time, it was him and Louie, his little brother, but he was like a little newborn. Right. And she moved him to Parkway at that time. And I used to, I was still living in Minnesota at that time. And I still can't, I can't, my mom would send me back to Chicago, um, like every summer and shit like that for the next, last three years, you know, for the three years. Um, so every time I came back and shit like that, it was like different. Like, um, I was getting in trouble and shit like that because I was, he was sending me off. I was like a little send off for him or something like that. He was making me, uh, like I broke into his, like not broken too, but his mama house. She was at work. I kicked the air conditioning because I couldn't get right. in. You said, you said I broke it too, but not broke it too. Not broke it too. It's his mama house. We live there. So okay. I'm saying I, that was the wrong word to say. All but right. um, what I was going to say, like, yeah. Kicked like his, in the air conditioning. His mama was at work, and he said, you, you're not coming with us. We, we finna go to Washington Park. Was that, that's on Kane Drive. I forgot what in Kane Drive. But he was like, and he was like, yo, I got to go through the window. So I, I had to kick the fucking air conditioning in just to even get in while his mama was at work, literally. But that's where we stayed, so. But we was like fucking 14. No, no, we were 14. We was like 12. Literally. Mm -hmm. I had my first fight in Parkway, too. I beat the shit out of that nigga. Damn, I know he mad. Beat shit out who? I think his name's Tremaine. 
Okay. I think his name TP now. I don't know his Instagram, but he know I whooped his ass. Post you know, six? No, I don't, I don't think he post TP, six. TP? TP? TP from THF? No, I don't think he THF. I ain't okay. seen him in a minute, but his name is Tremaine. He, he know I whooped his ass. He know, he know it. Okay. <laughs> I beat the shit out of him. I ain't gonna, <laughs> I beat his ass. I, I kicked, look, that was my first fight. I kicked his head through the motherfucker. Look, y'all see my foot? I kicked that motherfucking head through the gate. I was like, ah, boom, boom. Stop playing with us. What the fuck is you talking about? But no, I kicked his head through the gate, though. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I whooped his ass. That's my first. That's when I knew I can beat somebody ass. All you right, know. so tell us how did that fight even start? <laughs> <laughs> like, you're right, because you say, you say for sure, for sure. If I ain't he beat nobody's ass. ass that day, I beat his ass. No, tell I'm us cool. how it started. I'm, cool. I'm cool with his baby mama to this day, though. But okay. um, you said how it started. It started because yeah. um, Sky, my little sister, that was supposed to be here. Louis, his little brother, that was supposed to be, not supposed to be here, but mm -hmm. he knew I was coming here. Mm -hmm. um, I was young as fuck, too. We was all young as fuck. But uh, it was like a little pear tree in the, in the backyard. Because we used to stay at 6338 South King Drive. I used to make jokes, and Vaughn used to be like, uh, well, to this day, like, you know, when he started rapping and shit, he was like, he not from 63rd. But I'm, I'm like, you say he not from 63rd, but shit, our address was 6338 South King Drive. Okay. So, nigga, that's 63rd. Okay. <laughs> but uh, it was a pear tree in the backyard. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think you just shook the room real quick and it just went over our heads. So you said Vaughn was really from 63rd? No, no, no. He's not from 63rd, but our address was 6338 South King Drive. We from 78th originally. He was pushed out the one. We grew up on 78th. Then we moved to, when I was in Minnesota, everybody moved to uh, 6338 South King okay, Drive. Okay. Literally. That's okay. when I kicked the air conditioning in. Okay, go ahead. Literally. Right. But 63rd, you go blocks down, it's a whole nother fucking city, you might as well say. Mm -hmm. Another 63rd, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. Anyways, about the fight. Like I said, it was a pear tree slash apple tree. I forgot what, which one it was in the backyard. But uh, TP slash Tremaine was throwing shit at Louie and Scott. They was little ass kids, literally. And, you know, he's basically picking on Von Love brothers and sisters while he was at Washington Park. So, you know, I grabbed Louie and I grabbed Scott. We went over there. They told me who the fuck was throwing shit at them. I went over there in the middle, I think the middle building, Parkway. That's where he was at. I caught him. I ain't even do no talking. Still to this day, I don't do no talking. <laughs> Kick that motherfucker. I, no, I slammed him on his motherfucking back. <laughs> Kick that motherfucker in his head. He ain't, he ain't swing back and get no lick in. To this day, motherfuckers still don't get no lick in. It's not my fault. Damn. You sound like you've been in the hood whooping shit. I mean, I whip shit, but you know, it, it's when it's needed. You know what I'm saying? Okay. It's when it's needed. Okay, for sure. <laughs> DJ, you go crazy.